Howdy partners, NASCAR manager is out and we are GP racing today, welcome aboard. I'm not going to keep that up for ages because it is terrible, so sorry if you're offended. Welcome to, yeah, the newly released Hutch Game NASCAR manager. We did a live stream yesterday, so hopefully you got and able to watch it out and check us out racing along. It's been pretty interesting, it's been pretty fun. I am enjoying it, I must say, and similar or well, similarities to F1 Clash. I'm going to run through a little GP event. It's qualifying in this NASCAR manager and it is qualifying for the Florida Sunshine events. I don't know what sunshine is. I live in England, the UK, so we don't get too much of it. We are in Q2 because we've only just registered that we can race in GP and I have no idea what sort of points I am going to be in for in this event. So let's just have a look at the tracks that we've got. Can we have a look at the tracks? But well, let's just run you through. First of all, three rounds. Qualifying Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four races. You only have to do one day if you qualify. Opening round is seven races. And final round is ten. Ten races. A lot of races to do as well. Make sure you're in the promotion zone to get promoted. And you can win some fantastic prizes, as you can see in here. Series four crate for this one. And some nice boosts, coins, the lot to go with it. So, we're going to give it a go. Let's show you what we are running, first of all, because I don't know if it's any good. We've got this G. Carlson and Big Brown. He's not called Big Brown, but you know what I'm saying. Big Brown, don't let his looks deceive you. He is quick. Very, very quick. So, overtaking is nicely what we want, but I am going to just take... I think I'm going to keep him and see what he does. I like Big Brown. It's pretty good. Um, I want to keep a bit of fuel and a bit of tyre. So let's just go with these two. It might not make a difference at this stage. This is the car that we've got as well. Pretty balanced, nice setup. So let's get into a GP race. Our first ever. I don't know how many laps they're going to be. So we are going to absolutely be all over the place. Expect an absolute beep show. As we go race one, we've got eight laps, Daytona. Let's see what we can do in this new learning experience. Daytona. Let's go. Let's see what we've got. And let me know down below what you think of this game as well. Just playing it just for something different. We're approaching the end of the F1 class season. So obviously just paying attention on here. And I have enjoyed it so far. But how many points are we going to score? And we search for a player, which might end up being a bot. Usually I cut this out, but I was too busy talking. 4-7-0 for this opponent. And we're going to see. I mean, I don't really want to use boosts because I just want to see what how I do in general. So for an eight lap race, we're going to be a 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. That is what I'm going to plan to do. It might be awful. Let's see. Oh, my God. Look at qualifying. Oh, Jesus. We are on the back foot. I'm going to equip a boost, see what happens. Because, well, actually, why not? So we have to select each one. Let's give it a go. We've got fuel tyres on here. Now, let's go. Pace car pulls into the pit lane, and we're off and racing in Daytona. What accent that is, I have no idea. Right, so we're not going to push straight away. This is the one thing that we've learned so far. There's no point when everyone is stacked together. You need to just hold off and not waste any fuel. So this boost will hopefully help us. We're going to do a 2-2-2-2, two, 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 which means we are all out, fuel and attack. So we're just going to get the slipstream of the cars ahead. That's what's going to keep us so close until the pit stops. Some of these might go for three laps as well. We're going to see what happens as the slipstream on the inside works well. And we've got P18 and P19. We probably do definitely need to strengthen our car. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap tyres with both. No servicing needed. Here comes Big Bro. I told you Big Bro was on fire. And here he goes. He's into P11. Nice slipstream through the middle. And he moves up very nicely. I told you he's good. I told you. And we could probably do a 3-3-2 here. But I'm going to stick with what I got. 
and we're going to just push ever so slightly. Your servicing gets impacted when you hit other cars, and we are now about to come in pit road. So we pit from lap two, not many pitting. So this is why we're doing the undercut. We want to run in clear air for a solid two laps. We're going to take tyres because it shouldn't matter too much. And now, while everybody else is squabbling for position and can't get a decent run, we're now going to push both of these cars really hard. We're going to be out of sync, which means we should get clear pit stops and free air. You can see then, now coming in, about to enter pit road, pit road, and they are in pit road now. So their rival comes in from P1 and P12. And what we're going to do is we're not going to take tyres next time round because we're going to try and make sure we get out ahead. This is why it's so powerful to do the undercut. We are in to P4 and P6. We're going to keep pushing and we're just going to refuel here on its own. You can see the gap we're creating. We're obviously going to get further back. We're out of sync. But it's not too bad so far. What do we got? About a straight. So we're going to, we're definitely going to come back out towards the back. Doing this extra pit stop. Oh, don't take service in here. Okay, good job. Just a quick service of the fuel. And we're coming back out. Pretty quick pit lane at Daytona. And look at that. We are back out into the lead. And we can push again here. So we can push again in P1 and P2. So we've made really good ground. And it's just concentrating to get ahead. These should all actually be pitting around this lap. Because they did a 3-2. They're going to do a 3-2-3 by the look of it. So as we race through, rivals are way back. We have stretch clear. And we're going to now come in for fuel and tyres with both cars. This is looking nice. Rivals behind. Some of them not pitted. So some will pit this lap. And we are now on the lead lap with the lead strategies. So... P1 and P2, tyres and fuel to come. And I think we might score. We, we could be on for very big points in this first race. We, I don't know, really know what I'm going to score at all. But hopefully we score pretty well. That is what we want. And we're out. P1, P2. Here we go. Lovely. P2, P3, we come out indeed. we got a P1 ahead of us, who has got to pit. So we should take the inside line here, no defending from the rival. And that puts us in to P1 and P2, a return to the front. And that is from where we started as well. We've used a couple of boosts, which probably did help a little bit. But from rumours, they don't help massively. So luckily, we're doing nicely here. And look at that, last lap. Look at the gap we have pulled. P3 comes into the pits, and we are way ahead. Absolutely way ahead, and looking very, very solid indeed. But we come final corner, a final bend of the oval, whatever you want to call it. That is a solid first race. I don't know if it should be that easy. I don't know if the other races are going to be that easy, but strategy is key, and we take maximum points in the very first race of our first GP qualifying session. We will take that. Cars looking absolutely beautiful out there. That is a very decent result. We'll wait for the rival to come along. I mean, taking a while for the rival. 75 points in race one then. That is what we like to see. Team score, four, five, four that we're running. And yeah, we'll take that, 75. That's pretty solid. And we'll move on to race two. We'll see what race two is all about. Race two is Phoenix, 14 laps. What the hell do we do with 14 laps? Jesus. So we've got a different, still a bad matchup in theory. And we're at Phoenix Raceway this time, quite a... What looks to be on this screen, a short circuit. So the question is, we've never done over nine laps. So this is 14. This is going to be a pain because we are not going to know what we should be running. Expect some points drop in this race. Um, we're not going to use boosts probably this time. I might just use one. And we're going to get this show on the road. I do not know what strategy 
to follow. So we're going to find out, we're going to find out what can we do fuel, what can we do tyres, I mean do we do a uh, free, 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 two, we've got five laps we could do, we can do five laps, I think we go a four, oh Jesus, four, four, hmm, I don't know, I don't know what to run here. I am confused, but we've got a good qualifying position with Big Bran in P8. I think we will do four laps. I think I think a lot of these are going to go to five. So we're just going to push out again. It's a relatively short circuit. So I think if we do a four, five, five, that would potentially work. So we're going to start boosting. And look at that. Big Brown round the outside. Yes, my man. Uh, we'll come back for tyres early on. And look at Big Brown go. Big Brown, a man on a mission. He is going to take the lead of this race. We're going to go to lap four. We actually could get five laps in here. I might try and get five. Because I can do a five. Hmm, let's see. I think car. I think we'll go car. We'll, we'll pit early. I think we'll get out of traffic. Big Brown, I didn't say fuel. That's bad. That is bad. And we're just going to, I think we'll just chill with him. He's going to cut down now. He's going to lose a lot of time. Big cars pitting. Cars in the pit. And yeah, we're out of fuel. Oh, Jesus, that's slow. Oh, don't run out of, don't run out of fuel, folks. Oh, my God. Where's the pit lane? Why have I not pitted? Oh, God, it's carnage. We pitted, though. Maybe I cancelled it at the wrong time. Oh, Jesus. This is not how to race this game, folks. Now we're in the pits. We're almost a lap down. Jesus. God, that's tough. But car's coming round. And car's going to take... I mean, where is the exit? Oh, it's all the way round there. Jesus. Right, I'm going to pit again. I'm going to have to... I don't really understand this track. I've never raced this track before. So where do we come into pit? Is it down that bottom corner? It must be. It is. All right. Okay. We got the, We got it completely mixed up then. Wow. That's cost us big time. That has really cost us big time. Big Brown was absolutely flying at one point and he's not anymore. I mean, we can still gain some positions back, but we're going to drop some big points. We're just trying to manage at the minute. If I can get another lap here, we could not be too bad. Car comes back out. Or Colston, whatever his name is. Can we get one more lap, maybe? If we can, that will work with Mr. Brown. Should get a lot of pit stops here. I'm going to try and do another lap. Or do I do 10? We're on lap 10. I think we pit now with him. And Brown will go to the end. Four laps should be nice. This is tricky. I just completely made a massive mistake in this race. And we're going to keep pushing here. Try and get Carr back through. These should pit surely. Maybe we've got the strategy completely wrong. No, most of them now pit. So we're going to push with Big Car. Big Brown is just well back. We have absolutely stuffed his race up. Sorry to you, Mr. Brown. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pit for fuel. Car comes out. He's going to pit now. Into the pits he goes. Big Brown should be good to the end. Maybe he can catch up even though he's a lap down. Big opportunity for Brown to get some more points. He's back up to P... Well, it was P17, it looked like. He's not anymore. P20. Car's coming out well in the points. We need some more pit stops. We need more pit stops. Are we going to get more pit stops? Probably not. So P5. We've got Big, big Brown now coming through the field, but it's only P18. And I think, actually, Carr is going to take the lead. Yes, he is. So we should be up there with Brown. Brown was the better car in this race, remember. And now we are starting the last lap. So only P16. That's been a tough miss pit. We got caught out with the track. And we're, in, we're going to lose this position as well, I think, because we're going to lose fuel. Oh, it's a tough race. That is not how. Do not race like that. Simple as that. 
So I was so used to the pit lane being right at the start finish line that I totally didn't realize it was at the blooming second first curve. Jesus, we lost some points. We still got good points, but we definitely lost a few. 59 we go down to. What did P1 get? I mean, they got 75 in race two. So we got learning. Everybody is learning. And I'm going to take a look at the track next time. Kind of feel like we did that okay, though. I think a 5-5-4 five, five, and a 4-5-5 five, five works pretty well. We're back 17 laps at Richmond Sausage Raceway. Jesus. Oh, my God. So let's see if we can return to the front. Because that was a tough race and we absolutely cost. Big Brown was nearly in the lead. And then we missed Pitt. And then we cancelled Pitt when I thought we had a lap to go. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. But we still scored OK points considering we got P1. Look where Big Brown qualifies. That's how bad we did. Uh, not going to use boost this time. Just going to go with our drivers as they are. And off and racing we shall go here in this track. We have got 17 laps. We can do five laps, nearly six on fuel. You could do, in theory, if you could get six, that would be pretty good. And Big Brown moving up the field, nice and early. Can we just, if we can manage this out, I might go to lap five. Kind of feel like running in clear air is so important as we get a nice cheeky screenshot for the thumbnail. But definitely clear air is worth running in. No point pushing too much. We're not making massive moves here. Um, we're on lap three. When's the line now? So we can actually go to lap six. And we could probably do... Hmm, 665. Can we go lap seven with this? Still got two laps. Might try and push this out. I think we can do... Although lap 5 and 6, wouldn't it? I don't think we're going to go for tyres, though. That's what's going to be the difference. As now we come across the line again. We've got one and a half. I'm going to come now for pit. Hopefully the pit lane's not anywhere near. Where is the pit lane? Last corner this time. Thankfully. So, lap 6. I expect to see a lot of cars in. Some are going to lap 7. That's what we thought about doing, but didn't. We'll get a quick pit stop. We don't need tyres at this point. And hopefully we'll budge past some of these as they all come out. No one looking like they're taking tyres. Usually we do take tyres, so we probably should have. But big bro, big brand to the outside. Nice and early into P15. We're going to now try and do the undercut on the field who are in the pit. They're just coming out, but we're going to take the lead. Who's going eight? Someone's gone eight laps. Wow. That's, I mean, fair play. So I think we just push here now as much as we can we've got big brown into first we've got we can't get past at the moment in p8 need a bit of a different line if we can so i think i can get another couple of laps here where are we in relation to everyone else quite far i think we do one more lap we'll come back for tires and fuel so going around here all right tires and fuel we will go in and now we will go tires and fuel uh, no, no, come on, tyres and fuel, got to be so micromanaging this, it's like you've got to be really on it at all times, and we're just going to slow down, but we're coming into the pits, where is Big Brown going to come back out, and he's dropping a few positions, but we should be able to do five laps now, so I am just going to get up to speed, get to the end of the pack, so I can get the slipstream as they all come into the pits, and now I'll just cut down, cars come back out, can go to the end now we're going to keep pushing and then we're going to cut down as well so where do we come through here so some cars pit some cars didn't big brown's up to p4 it says that woman I mean, would take p4 p5 where's car coming through car's going to get a nice jump here as well he's going to move up to p7 brown's going for the lead good day have we got enough fuel? I don't think we've got enough fuel, have we? 16, 17, two laps. Can we get two laps? I mean, it's going to be close. It's going to be... I don't think we're going to get two laps here. We might have to slow down a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a mistake. These are going to pit around us. We've got a big gap, to be fair. 
So we could just conserve later on. Looks like they're going as well. We're only on 0.83. It's not the end of the world. Have we got better fuel than them, though? I mean, we're into P1, P2. I didn't even notice. These are bat markers. I thought these were the real deal. But Big Brown, take victory. And, oh, no. Is that is that a rival car? Is that going to move us down to P4? Oh, we couldn't get P1 and P2. Oh, man. We didn't have enough fuel, but 17 laps. Okay, worked well. We did a six. I can't remember what we did. Six, six, five, I think. You'll know at home. 74 points. Well, we really messed up that race too, didn't we? In this junior division, this is up to series four. So 208. Let's do this guy. This guy did. So this guy was learning as well in P1. 49 in the first race. 75 through the rest. So, I mean, if we can get 70 points here. We will be top of the league. And it's back to Daytona. Eight laps this time. Obviously, Daytona where it is. So, back to Daytona we go for race four. And we know what the strategy to do around here. We did this in race one. And we did it very, very easy. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two, two, two is the strategy. But this time, we'll probably take tyres in the first pit stop. So, we'll ready up. And let's see if we can score 75 points. See if we can get to the top of the leaderboard. That'd be pretty nice for our first time. So let's bring NASCAR manager alight for race number four. One mistake so far, but we've managed to recover well. And now we are racing. So on that note, let's see what we can do. We're not going to push straight away. That's remember what we do. Don't need to. We can do three laps with one of these, but... I like the 2222 in clear air. Just so much quicker running in free air. Pit lane is on the start finish straight. So that is good. Or start finish bend, whichever way you want to call it. But P11 and P14 at the moment. And big car. Big car and big brand. Don't know why I like the fascination with the word big at the minute, but we got it in. So what do we got? Just coming around. So we're going to be pitting this lap then. And we're going to take fuel and tyres, like so. And that means we're going to get two more stints where we don't have to pit for tyres. Just losing a few positions as we stack on the outside, on the bend. Let's take a screenshot of a nice bend. Let's get some nice screenshots, shall we? Let's get some screenshots. And now we are coming in to the pit stop. We're going to push both briefly. Hopefully no servicing issues with any banging. And now we will come into the pits with the pace. Good speed into the pit lane. That's nice. And car pits. Literally car pits. I mean, that's easy, isn't it? So everybody else goes on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to push really hard. And what that means is we've got clear air. And we should catch back up pretty quickly. What they'll do is they will then pit. We will then go through in clear air still. And then we'll pit for only fuel. What you'll probably see is that we should come out around maybe p1 to p6 ish i'm gonna say so look they just hit the pit lane now or pit road depending on what you want to call it there's the pit entrance and there's a couple of cars going to lap four we know we're going to catch them at the end so we get through nice and quickly we're going to refuel the car only we'll do the tires on the next stint you can see the gap we've pulled at the moment and these cars ahead are going to be really looking after tyres and fuel. They're not going to have anything, pretty much. There you go. So we're going to catch them pretty quick at the end, just before the pit entry. And look, we get through. Oh, I took a bit of servicing there as well. And now into the pits we go. Good stop will mean that we'll come out. There you go. One point freeze. We should come out. Oh, we're going to be close. And I tell you what, that's perfection. We are in P1 and P2 now with a pit stop. We've just got to take tyres and so has mainly everybody else. So that's what we want to do. Running in clear air so much faster. Clear air is your friend as this car gets a lovely slipstream there on our driver. And we're going to just do one more lap. And then we'll come in. That car is flying out there at the moment. And it's all because they're literally sitting in our slipstream. We can't get Big Bran into the line. Now we can. He should get a bit of a slipstream now. And now he does look starting to 
slowly gain and he's going to look to the outside and he's going to get the job done. We're back into P2 and it's going to be a refuel and tyres for a two lap dash and look at the gap we have pulled. They should pit lap seven. So last lap, they'll probably be in the pits. 3.9, 3.9. And now we're coming out. Are we going to get the lead before they even come in? Or they're all in now. They're all in on lap six. They've done a 3-3. Free free. We are in P1 and P2. A return to a bit more like it. Just the one race then where we had a bad race. We still scored good points. Don't get me wrong. But... That are the strategies that I have followed. So hopefully if you're doing qualifying, you've learned a little bit from strategic play. But they were some solid... The best strategy is undercut. 100% undercut. But it's the best early strategy to follow. You do not want to pit like everybody else does. So on lap 8, we're going to come across the line. And we're going to take it nice and easy. Big brown chasing car and we have pulled well clear look we are well clear let's get a screenshot of that we've got loads of screenshots and we're through p1 p2 that is what we wanted to see just the one race we should have got p1 and p2 in that race as well considering it was brown that we messed up but remember you've got crashes in this game as well and it can really affect you when you're racing but that undercut is absolutely solid you've got to follow the undercut because it just makes so much sense take an extra pit stop but use all the fuel and you will fly and that is a florida sunshine qualifying round completed let's take a look how we scored so far junior 283 points so we are top at the moment we obviously didn't score the maximum 74 and a 59 but i am actually really happy with that that is a very solid round and fingers crossed i mean race number two low flags but obviously unlocked quite a bit and we're going to see what happens but let me know down below how you've got on what you think of this game as well and we're just going to upload something a little bit different but i appreciate you watching and yeah Undercut is the strategy that is king.